nucleus. Now examine the section of cheek tissue under a microscope. We see cube-like cells which are square in section but the free surface appears hexagonal. If we focus on a single cell we can clearly see a dark colored spherical or oval dot like structure near the center of the cell. This structure is called the nucleus. The nucleus is seen to be bounded by a double membrane called the nuclear membrane which has several pores on it. These pores allow the transfer of material from within the nucleus to the outside, that is, to the cytoplasm. The material within the nucleus is referred to as the nucleoplasm. Also visible are several delicately intertwined threads scattered about inside the nucleus, called chromatin. Chromatin is a complex of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acids that forms exceedingly long, thin, entangled threads. When the cell is ready to divide, the nuclear membrane disintegrates and the DNA becomes rod-shaped structures called chromosomes. Since chromosomes contain genetic material in the form of molecules called DNA, lysosomes also seen in the cheek cell are certain round structures called lysosomes. Lysosomes are the cell's garbage disposal system. They are membrane-bound organelles that contain certain digestive enzymes. When foreign materials such as bacteria enter the cell, they are taken in by phagocytosis. After the bacterium is enclosed in a vacuole, vesicles containing lysosomal enzymes fuse with it. Then the lysosomes, with the help of these powerful digestive enzymes, degrade the products of ingestion such as bacterium.